Hey boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Flowers, and I'm super excited to teach you guys today about invertebrates. In fact, we're going to get wild about bugs today. And then I have a little bug right here on my arm. This is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I'm going to pull him up here so you can get a better look. A Madagascar hissing cockroach is an invertebrate, and it's also an insect. Now I've said this big word invertebrate a couple times now, and some of you guys may not know what I'm talking about. First off, I want you guys to feel your fingers. Are there hard things in there? What about your backbone? Can you find it? So we are mammals and we are actually vertebrates, which means that we have bones in our body. Some of you guys may have been unlucky and broken a bone or two, in fact, and it takes a little time to heal. Now this hissing cockroach does not have any bones in its body. In fact, it's got a hard shell on the outside called an exoskeleton. I'll let you guys see a closer look here in just a second. That exoskeleton that I'm touching right now is hard and it kind of feels like polished wood. Now, that's how we know it's an invertebrate. The other way is that we know it's an invertebrate is that it actually doesn't look a lot like us. So we have fur, which is hair on our head, We've got bones in our body. We also have lungs. And he has things like antenna and more than two legs. Let's count those legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So not only is this guy an invertebrate, but it's actually an insect as well because insects have six legs. They also have three body parts. So you can see right there, that's a good shot of his head. He's right there. This middle part here with the bumps on it is his thorax. And this part down here is his abdomen that I'm touching. Now, all insects are invertebrates, but not all invertebrates are insects. So you may have insect or excuse me, invertebrates at your house, things like roly polies, or maybe some spiders or maybe some butterflies, all of those are invertebrates. But only one of those that I mentioned is actually an insect. Now, a butterfly is an insect, a lot like our Madagascar hissing cockroach. It has three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, and it also has six legs. The only difference is, is that a lot of times butterflies, they fly, right? And they go through something called metamorphosis, which we get to talk about in another class. Now, this one does not go through metamorphosis, not like a butterfly anyway, and they um, don't have wings either. A lot of insects do have wings, but not our Madagascar hissing cockroach. These invertebrates and these insects are extremely important to our ecosystem. Our ecosystem is what is around us, like our air and our trees and our grass. And in Madagascar, these are so important that they create actually soil. Isn't that crazy? How does a little critter like this create soil? Well, I'll tell you, they eat fruits and vegetables and guess what? They poop out, you guessed it, soil. I know that's crazy and a little gross, but without invertebrates like this Madagascar hissing cockroach, we wouldn't be able to be alive as humans. So invertebrates do all sorts of stuff. A lot of um, insects will pollinate like the butterflies or bees like honeybees and mason bees. And then a lot of them will break down lots of really yucky stuff like pollution or maybe other animals that have already died and they're decomposers and they break it down and poop out, you guessed it, soil. So the next time you see one of these creepy crawlies, I want you to take a closer look. Now be careful, because not all insects and invertebrates are as kind as my Madagascar hissing cockroach. But take a look, see if it has six legs, then it would probably be an insect, and see what you think it might do. Think, hmm, how can this little critter help me and my ecosystem and my community? Well, I look forward to teaching you more about invertebrates and all types of creepy crawlies and critters and learning about nature together. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.